Okay everybody, I'm back in the uh, workshop and uh, this is my Epson battery that uh, I spoke about in a um, previous video. This is how um, all the car batteries will be uh, dealt with because I'm given them. So uh, what I'm doing at the moment is uh, desulfating it. It uh, went right down to only two cells operating but that is because of the uh, state of the battery when I got it. Uh, I didn't do anything prior to uh, putting the Epsom uh, solution in um, and uh, now I'm doing something about it. She's uh, getting one hell of a pulse from the uh, 555 timer circuit I have here. Just a box standard one second pulse which is operating this uh, microwave 12 volt relay which in turn is operating this uh, microwave high um, current relay. I think the contacts are 10 amps and then that is feeding the primary of this microwave oven transformer and then into the battery and the current meter is showing an over 2 amp pulse well it's got a big voltage behind it because this is the pulse I'll just turn the brightness up so it sees better on the camera and it goes off the screen and on the uh, 10, 10 volt scale uh, I don't know if I can just there you are on 10 volt scale so it knobs all the way around to the left right now I'm going to show you the bottom of the pulse I'll try to show you how much I'm turning this pot. It's at um, 2 o'clock now, which is uh, on the. Yeah, 2 o'clock is. So it's 7 graticules from the bottom. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can find the bottom of this pulse. Right, that's all the way round now to the five o'clock position and the pulse if I can as you can see is uh, about halfway down the screen which is uh, from the top of the screen one two three about four graticules and then you're going back up to the two o'clock position and that's one holy hell of a pulse because not only have I got that on 10 volts per graticule but I've also got I don't know if you can see that my probe on the times one right so we know for definite that that pulse is 10 volts per graticule so there's just 70 there plus goes on down here somewhere right the voltage in the battery at the moment when my camera decides to focus or I get into a position where you can see it ah, if I get into a position where you can see it right we're now coming up on uh, 8 volts and what I've discovered is that she'll go up to almost 10 volts and then collapses back down to about 8 volts, 7 volts, uh, 7.5 volts. And I've discovered that um, it must be as the stuff comes away from the plates, 
they're not charged so the voltage drops and then that part of the plate charges back up again. I may be wrong, please tell me, um, but um, I'm quite pleased with this. I should be, uh, build, I've got a battery charger that I'm going to um, modify and put this circuit into and uh, then I'll be able to put all the batteries as I get them on uh, on the charger desulfator. Well, I think that's what I'm doing anyway. <laughs> Only time will tell. This has been going now for about three days. So three days I've got to sell back. Yeah, I've heard of some desulfators taking two, three months. Right, thanks a lot people. Talk to you on the next video.